Let's graph the linear equation for y equals 1 half x plus 2. And we'll do it two ways. First, we'll put some values in for x, find the corresponding y values, then we can graph those points. And then next, we'll check our work with the slope-intercept formula. So let's just put some values in for x. I like to start by putting a 0 in for x. 1 half times 0, that's 0. 0 plus 2, that gives us 2 for y. Let's put a 1 in for x. 1 half times 1, that's 1 half. So 1 half plus 2, that gives us 2 and a half. Finally, let's put a negative 1 in. So 1 half times negative 1, that's negative 1 half, plus 2, that gives us 1 and a half. So these are the values that we'll graph for the equation y equals 1 half x plus 2. So for x, we have 0, y, we have 2. On our graph, we go to x is 0 and y to 2. So that's our first point. Next, x is 1 and y is 2 and a half. So we'll put that right there. Finally, we have a negative 1 for x and a 1 and a half for y. So we go negative 1 and y is 1 and a half right there. So those three points, they line up. Let's put a line through them. And put arrows out here, show it goes to infinity. And this is our graph for y equals 1 half x plus 2. I could have done it with just two points, but I like three because if I make a mistake, it'll help me catch that. Let's check our work with the slope-intercept formula. So we have y equals mx plus b, and b, that's the y-intercept. That's where the line will go through the y-axis, and b is 2. So we go find 2 on the y-axis, and right there, that's our y-intercept. Next, when we look at the slope here, we can think of it as rise over run. So we go up 1 and over 2. That's our rise over run. So we go to the y-intercept, we go up 1 and over 1, 2. There's our point. Let's do it again. Up 1 and over 1, 2. And you can see all of these points there on our line. Up 1 over 2. In fact, we could go in the opposite direction. We could go down 1 and over 2. Down 1 and over 2. And you can see these points there on our line as well. So this is the correct graph for the linear equation y equals 1 half x plus 2. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.